What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more settlement survival. So, in the last episode, we got our settlement started here. Things are not looking so great. Um, so a little has happened between the last episode and this episode, and that was just because I was trying to get to a point to stop to um to record this episode. Well, we got some immigrants, we got some immigration, and we have 63 people now. So, um, as you can see, I did just throw up some houses, and I actually built this uh interim housing right here, which is gonna is a big house that can accommodate up to 24 people. It's kind of like a temporary housing thing. Um, so I got that up, and then I did get up the uh, we did get up our other two um logging camp things, and I did have to throw a repair shop in here because look at these houses, they're literally falling apart. So we had to get those in here. Um, our domestic our fuel is not looking good, but with all these people came people so now we can actually fill all of our positions get things going and uh yeah have a good time so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things if you're interested in settlement survival link down below without further ado let's get into it so we need to focus on getting things situated here our food is not looking great our water is not looking great <laughs> our food is the water is no longer as good as it used to be so we need to make sure that we're uh hitting those up very hard here and i'm gonna start off by getting ourselves because like i said uh food and water is the biggest deal um uh, so let's see let's go ahead and let's go with a field should we just plop some standard fields in now nah, let's just go with our regular fields okay so let's go like this uh so if i let's see that's too small four five let's do uh six by eleven can we do a six by eleven here as well you know what let's bring it all the way out let's do an 8 by 11 there so we need to get some fields going here uh, let's get our dirt road and actually let's go like this all the way to there and then let's go ahead and remove that road and then let's get some more fields in here because I am all about the fields right now um, actually will a standard field fit in here no regular field though will that will that squeeze right in here 13 by 6 that'll work okay so we need to get these fields going we gotta get the food um i'd also like to get some more pastures going so i'm gonna go ahead and just get a couple of those laid out in here so we can get a couple pastures we can get some more food going because that's like super important um food is not looking good like i said and then we need water we need more water uh where is our large where's our large well Oh, blueprints. When disaster occurs in the town, citizens can enter shelter to avoid casualties in a normal jack o' lantern festival. Oh, that's cool. Um, where is my well? Oh, right here. Oh my gosh, I'm blind. Yeah, let's get another big well. So we've got one. We've got one here. I'm thinking maybe we go. Let's see, we got a lot of people. Maybe, maybe in this area. Can we get one in right? Can I squeeze it like right in here? Darn. Yeah, let's throw one there. Um, is that going to be enough? I don't know. This only time will tell. So more fields, more animals. Now, another couple other things that we're, uh, we're not doing very good on is tools. I don't think we're making... I don't know if we're making enough tools. So I'm going to go ahead and add another person in there. Um, along with clothes, uh, we're at 15 clothes right now. So I don't know if we're making enough clothes. It says last year they made 50 this year. They're on the course to make 10 or they're making 10 right now so far. So we need to get those going and then let's go ahead and let's look at our stuff here. Um, so science school expansion, research, boarding schools, advanced research academy. Um, I was looking for health food. um, Agricultural reed, compost fodder, apiary, grove, nursery, animal slaughter, farming efficiency, fish pond plantation. Oh. Maybe. Same function as a farm, but the size is fixed. Oh, that's a standard farm. And farm. Farming efficiency, seed and of sowing and harvest plus 100%. That's huge. Apiary, that'd be big. Um, apiaries collect honey and beeswax. Uh, food processing, a structure capable of processing vegetables into veggie salads. What? We need that. That's going to make better food. 
for sure uh let's see bread the mill you can grind wheat or oats or into flour or malt which can be used to bread shop and winery production with grassland nearby i mean we have oats so we could do that i think this food processing is gonna be huge uh, unlock the barbecue house that might be huge logistics transfer station can store items workers inside will transport stored items to warehouses outside of the range how many points do we have we have four technology points herbalist hut oh medical powders oh my gosh we need that so bad <laughs> oh we needed that so bad and then what is this a boiler room can provide insulation to the building in its zone of effect when boiler room is enabled and working houses around will stop consuming domestic fuel uh that's huge okay so that's two points it's getting dark there's no light at night you can build some aluminum buildings to light up the town in decoration hot tab key you can change the day and night settings wait there's decorative stuff Oh my gosh, there is lighting. What? Oh, these are expensive though. Oh, we have to unlock them. Uh, flame. Oh, jeez. I mean, we're in the era of they, they, I don't feel like the era is right. Candlestick. I mean, a street light's cool, but like, I don't feel like we're, they, we don't have electricity. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like it looks so wrong. You know, I'm not worried about decorative stuff yet. We got to get functional functionality. All right. So we got a couple things. The herbalist hut. Oh my gosh. Now, what does this do? Provides, produces medical powder with herbs, bandages and bandages with cotton cloth or linen. So how do we get herbs? Maybe from the gatherer over here. Yeah, we need this for sure. This actually should probably go. Oh, can we squeeze that right in here? Oh, that would be perfect. Okay. So yeah, we'll get the herbalist hut there. That will give us um, some medical powders. That might be huge for us to help us. Um, and then the boiler room. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big, big thing. Oh man, I wish I would have known about this before. Could get rid of the chapel. <laughs> if we placed it right here, we could have like... Of course, the problem is like my housing is expanding you know what I think we're gonna I think we're gonna demolish this yeah we're gonna demolish that I'm gonna put the boiler room right there we don't need that chapel we already have one uh, right here oh our fields got planted okay hold on we got to produce here so we got vegetables we've got tomatoes going there let's go ahead and let's get some beans uh, raw material, flax seed, beans. Let's go ahead and get squash. And then uh, we've already got tomatoes. Maybe pumpkin. Do we want pumpkins? Are pumpkins something that we can actually eat here? I don't know. We'll get pumpkins there. Okay, we'll have all the different um, all the different foods going. This is being deconstructed right now. And then we're going to put our boiler house in here, which should hopefully heat up all of these. Oh my gosh, that's going to be huge. All right, boiler room. Yes. Oh my gosh. That is such that's going to be such a huge thing. That's going to help us so uh so much with the winter that's coming up actually right now. Ha. Yay, winter time. Yeah, fuel reserves are low. I am aware. I am aware. And the, you know what's crazy is this has been making fuel the entire time. That building and this building. Uh, but there are also lack of materials again. I have gotten th I have three Forester huts. And we still cannot keep up with the demand of wood. It's insane. Like, I'm going to have to make more. <laughs> Either that or we need like a time where we're not utilizing wood for something. Ooh. This requires cut stone. Oh, no. 
Um, I don't know how we process that. Mountain quarry. Sand mining, calcium refining, smelting. How do we get cut stone? Oh, cut stone right there. Uh, masonry workshop. All right. Let's get the masonry workshop. That's why that boiler's not getting built. All right. So masonry workshop. That should go right here. Next to our stone mine. And then we also have a veggie producing plant. This is going to produce salads and whatnots. Um, I feel like that could go right here by our vegetables. Like that could probably be smart. And then a butcher, I feel like should be like right in here somewhere as well. But if I get another pasture right in here, that might be in the way. You know, let's put it right here. Let's next to this one. So there's those. We already got the herbalist hunt. That looks good. Um, yeah, we need this. We can get cut stones. So we can get this. Then we also need that. Okay. Man, you know, it's crazy. The wood, the wood production is just like, and we need building kits to upgrade stuff, I guess. So I don't know. Wild. I wonder if there's anything to improve our wood production. Oh, I mean a forest farm, huh? <laughs> but we have to go with, we need sand mining. Can plant trees and produce a large amount of timber. Farmers will only cut down the mature trees. Can use fertilizer to boost yield. Farmers will grow herbs and special crops in the field area. Oh, we don't even have that. So we have to get the apiary. Okay, you know what? This is what we need to do. There's something we haven't built yet that I've been putting off. And that is the research houses. Um, Where are they? Oh, right here. Research Institute. We need these. And what we're going to do is we're going to place these. We need like three of them. Uh, it's kind of wild. The tutorial specifically tells you to place three of them, which is I just think it's kind of it's kind of crazy. But, you know, it is what it is. So let's do this. Um, One, two, three. We'll get those three built. That's going to increase our technology points. And then we can actually go through and um, hopefully get a bunch of um, a bunch of technology points because I'd like to get honestly like this, this right here, this, this chain, the apiary, the grove, the nursery, and then the forest farm. Like, mm, that seems pretty good to me. Our food is still dwindling insanely fast. I mean, it's going up. I'm hoping it's going to go up enough. You know what? I think we need more hunters. Let's get more hunters. Oh, I don't have any other animals yet. Except alpaca, which is fine. We'll just switch that out later. So it's winter time. I have no fuel. It's freezing. Um, we're going to try to get this masonry thing built like ASAP, but I don't think that's going to even matter. I think we're gonna have to go through and just hand hand chop trees down. <laughs> this is so terrible. This is so bad. Oh, this is not good. Everybody's gonna be freezing. I was hoping to get this thing built before winter time, but that I can that that made the the cut stone is an issue. Definitely an issue. Okay, so the stone mason is up and actually, you know, it's almost the end of winter anyways. And we somehow, it looks like we somehow survived and like people made it. So, which is absolutely wild. Um, I can't even believe that. Uh, we have no workers to this big well, which is terrible because uh, we have 141 water. We have 1100 food. We are not looking good. We have, we were taking a serious negative hit on that. Um, I'm really hoping that these fields are going to help offset that. Uh, we don't have a lot of workers here. And how much stone do we have? Okay, we've got a lot of iron. Let's go ahead and let's cut down. Let's do five workers on there. And then let's do... Uh, we don't have any other fields yet for, for those. How many people do we have here? We have ten. Let's go to eight on that. Let's get one in here. 
Lack of raw materials. Yeah, I know your lack of raw materials. Uh, let's get a worker on the water. And the gather set needs rebuilt, of course. Okay. So we're going to let that stuff run through. I'm hoping that this, <laughs> this summer, this season, will be much better. March has arrived. Okay. So it looks like our butcher's almost done, and it looks like our vegetable producer's almost done as well. So that should give us a little bit more food. I'm hoping that the processing of the food will increase the... Uh, oh, medical powder or bandage? Let's do medical powder. Well, hold on. Total reserve zero. Yeah, we'll do medical powder for now. Okay, so no workers are signed. Fantastic. Here we go again. Um... Five in there, eight in there. Let's go ahead and look at our stats here. What do we have a lot of? We have a lot of farmers. I'm gonna just take down two farmers. I'm gonna add one there and one there. Product has not been selected. Meat shop. You. Veggie salad. Oh, you know what? Turn that off. Cancel that. We don't need this until we have the barbecue place. I bet you we don't need a meat chop. Hunger, happiness. Can be used to make cured meat at curing workshop. It's kind of a rough. Okay. So we can't we can't do anything with that anyway. So we're gonna leave that one alone. Our food is at 320 right now. Um This is not good. Okay. So we have I increased the um the food fishing docks so now we have two people at each one you're still trying to produce fuel which is slowly slowly we're getting wood we have stone the boiler room is getting put together we have clothing we have tools <sighs> food and water is now the issue uh you know what we could do is we could slaughter some of these we can't slaughter them until they're at a max capacity of 11. Mm. Maybe we build another hunter's hut. We need something. We need something for the food, and I don't know what it is. What do we have here? I'm hoping... I mean, I can see water's on the rise. Food, we are waiting till harvest. I mean, harvest will be our big, our big thing to know if we have enough food or not. We have zero food. We've officially hit zero food. Is there any way we can do gather plants, gather rocks, gather all? Oh, because I don't know. I mean, we are getting close. 630 last year, 1500 that year. This. Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I don't think this is going to go well. Um, this boiler house is still not done, which to me is absolutely insane. I don't know how it's taken a year to build that, but it, it hasn't. Let's go and turn this off. I am seriously worried about the zero food right now. I mean... Are, is, is, are mushrooms considered a food... So we could do a gather resource, gather plants. All right, everybody just go forage for stuff. Just go have at it. We need food. I'm hoping that we're going to see some food in there. A temperature rise of the number of mosquitoes also increases. Uh, prepare more medicine. That's fine. Okay, we had 12, but we went back to zero. As long as we're increasing us some food a little bit, hopefully this harvest will work. And if this harvest doesn't work, then we're just done. <laughs> we're at 10 food, we're at five food. 23. Water looks like it's still going up, 71. Okay, pumpkins are being harvested right now. So that means we should be good. Substances are hungry, select uh, gather plants. Yeah, I already did that. 
uh, searchers set together hunt, hunter's hut and fishing dock can obtain food monthly while searchers like field orchard will produce food yearly yeah oh dear all right let's just let it go let's just let it go let's see what happens I mean, we're at 130 something food but we gotta survive all winter we're back to zero food again <laughs> Oh, this is a roller coaster of emotions right here. Um, I also think we need another well because I'm not seeing uh, the water go up as quickly as I would like it to. Actually, wasn't there a building? There was a reservoir, was there not? Uh, we need sand and clay in order to make that. So we can't make that yet. Okay. So it's just another well. <laughs> another well. We're going to prioritize that as well. Huh. Prioritize the well as well. You can see what we did there. <laughs> oh, all right. And I'm really hoping that this is going to be enough food. I think maybe next year we might have to go and have uh, plant some fields on this side too. And okay. You know what? Another thing I'm realizing is that we might not be gathering enough food at this point. So this is what we need to do. We have so much iron. We're gonna turn that off and we need to make sure that we are gathering all of this food that we can is farming is gathering actually we'll leave that on but let's put that at three for now actually let's put it at two i want to make sure that these are all getting harvested here 500 600 oh my gosh we're almost there on food Looking better. Um, well, looking better for now, but this is supposed to last us a year. All right, then we got another well going. 900, 1,000 food. I'm just trying to get it sustainable right now. That's all I'm trying to do. Time for harvest. Yep, everybody harvest everything. Let's go. 37 water? Jeez. Oh my gosh, the boiler's finally done. All right, let's take somebody out of here. Throw somebody in there. Holy moly. <laughs> finally, we might be getting somewhere. Maybe, I don't know. Hoping. So we did not even have enough people to harvest all of the food that we had. Oh my gosh, immigrants arrived. I don't think I could take on any more people at this point. Like, I can't even keep the people that we have. 12 immig- Oh my gosh. What do we do? What do we do? I mean, if we take the 12... If we take the 12, we could put them on... Put them on each on a well house. To double our water. We could also even put them in the fields. Well, they can't do the fields right now. So we could throw them on the fishing docks. Oh, is it? This is a terrible idea. This is a terrible idea, but we're gonna accept them. We're gonna accept them. A citizen has caught the plague. Oh my gosh! The infectious diseases to under education tech will allow hospitals and pharmacies under livable tech to treat infectious diseases immediately. Are you kidding me? Okay, hold on a second. Livability. Hospital? Are you serious? I have to go all the way down to the hospital? I'm not gonna- I don't have the stuff for that. What? I'm not to that point yet! What? Oh my gosh. This isn't gonna go good. This is not gonna go good at all. Alright, so first thing we do. Let's go through and make all of these guys working on water. So let's see, we had one well house with about 25 people. So now we have three with 75 and we were getting a plenty of water. So that might be about right. We might need one more well house. You know what? Let's just get the well house now. Okay, so there's that. So these fields, since it is winter time, do these produce fish? They do. Let's go ahead and bump these up. Let's 
turn these all down to one person. Let's add these so we can get more fish in here. That's going to get us water. That's going to get us food. I'm still worried about food and water. I think it's, I think food and water is still going to be an issue right now. Um, we also don't have clothing. Tools are okay. We still don't have enough wood. Okay, so right now we have nine unemployed people. Well, houses are maxed out. Okay, here, let's also do this. Let's put one in each of those. That's going to give us more technology points. And we have eight more to go around. Okay, so we need to go back to four here. Okay, so that's what we have for now. That'll work for now. Let's throw a fourth in there. Hopefully, this will work. Fuel reserves are low. I'm aware. People are freezing. This, this boiler should keep everybody happy. Oh, you know what? Do we have enough housing for everybody? 62, 68, 24, 24. Okay, so we have just enough right now. Oh, we had somebody freeze to death. How wonderful. I think that's the first person, but I think we should be good because this building is servicing all these areas. So I I think we should be okay. I don't know. We'll see. Um, food is looking okay. Uh, water is, is definitely going up now. We're at 180, which is good. Uh, we should have plenty of research now. We got to get some things unlocked here. Uh, a few citizens are freezing. Yes, they are. Yes, they are indeed. <laughs> Not good. Okay, so while it's still winter time, I'm going to go ahead and let's look at our agriculture here. So we have farm. Farming efficiency. Speed of sowing and harvest by 100%. That is going to be super handy. I've got plenty of points, so I think I'm just going to go for it. Uh, can grow crops with extra 25% yield. Can be fertilized to retire outputs. Brick and glass. See, these don't need anything. That's just faster, which is good. So let's do it. Activate. Um, compost plant. But a farm with compost. And then farming efficiency. That's huge. And then what is fodder? Can reduce... Can process corn and beans into fodder. Same functions pasture can use fodder to accelerate animals maturity increase. Okay. Uh, let's get the apiary. Honey and beeswax. Oh, we don't have the clay. Um, you know what? Let's get sand mining. For our last point. Okay, so now we have two farms. We have standard field, standard farm, field, and then farm. However, we can boost to yield. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is here, to be honest. So we're, we're going to get that put in there. Think about building, building a road here. How close? Oh, see, that's getting close to that over there. We'll see how this goes. Because they can, they can harvest and sow 100% faster now. Okay, so now we need to make sure that these farms are like maxed out here. That doesn't grow this season. But I also want to keep my fishing people doing their fishing thing. And we also need to get a sand pit. Can we set this over here? All right, so we'll get a sand pit from there. That's our new thing. Let's go ahead and get the road attached. And then we also got, so we got our new thing. Oh, a compost plant. So we can compost dried animal dung into fertilizer. So, I mean, that's just a bonus. That's not really like a... Wait, why does this need such a big area? Oh, soil grants a 50% bonus production. Oh, so that means I need to place it next to a whole bunch of fields. Hmm. Right now I'm worried about food and water situations. <laughs> that's what we need to worry about. More than anything else. I feel like we should also get a school in here because if we get a school that will make them more efficient workers 
that's a fantastic place for a school if I've ever seen one. Um, we have no workers assigned here. Okay. Let's see. So we've got eight workers. How much stone do we have? We have quite a bit of stone. We still have quite a bit of, of that. But I also want to make sure our fields are producing everything they need to be producing as well. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's just everything right now. <laughs> it's just, uh, I just want to have like a nice chill time. You know, I want to get caught up and have everybody surviving and be in a good place. So we have not built the dock here. I feel like we should probably build this dock. Let's do it. Cause that will allow us to do some trade stuff and then we can maybe start trading some stuff. Uh, I'd like to get more animals, animal diversity in here. That'd be, that'd be pretty nice. Um, I want to get this other farm going here and I also want to make sure. Okay. How many people we have one laborer right now. This field's going to get in. Um, I want to make sure that we pull who we need to make sure that these crops... I mean, the crops are all getting planted in time, it looks like. It just doesn't look like um, everything gets harvested in time. Flaxseed. We're not doing flaxseed. I think we're just going to do some more vegetables. It almost seems like pumpkins are the way to go. 18 per grid. And if we go into here... Uh, not there. If we go into here and it's like this, 20 pumpkins for a salad versus 20. So it's 20 for 10. So pumpkins are the way to go. Yeah, pumpkins are definitely the way to go on that one. We need more people planting the pumpkins. <laughs> more people planting pumpkins. So who do we take from? You know what? We're going to take one from here. Place you in there. You're supposed to be making um, a domestic fuel, which you're not doing a very good job, so we'll take one of you. I'd rather have food. Okay. All right. We'll see how this goes. We could also use another hunting hut, I think. Oh, look at that. There's clay and sand here. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some sand mining. I don't, we don't have enough people right now, but that's fine. Uh, we actually have wood. I mean, everything is in the green right now. <laughs> uh, we still don't have any fuel, which I don't even know how we don't have fuel. I mean, I guess it's all in here. I have no idea. Uh, but our food is like, oh, our food is not good. Not good, not good, not good. Um, so. I don't, uh, maybe fishing. I, I put down another hunter's hut here. But I don't really know what... I don't know what to do. I don't know. We need more, like, constant food sources. I'm hoping maybe this year, since we have, like, all this food, maybe we'll get more food this year, and... I have no idea. I need more farmers. But the only thing is, it kind of stinks, is like the farmers don't work the rest of the year, you know? So it's like, I don't know what to do here. We have 10 food right now. All right. Everybody is going to have to go gather plants again. Can we build a bridge? We might need a bridge. We might need a bridge going over here because this would increase. Yeah, we're going to get a bridge because maybe we can put some fishing things up here. Get something going. Uh, this field needs more people. Reserve of food is low. Yes, it is. So I have everybody up gathering, hopefully to get food. I mean, it is almost fall time, so we're about to have the big harvest, but. All right, so right now, we're gonna turn these fishing huts off. That gave me eight people. One, two. Four there, three. Four in that field. I think we need more on that. Well, five, six. We need to make sure that this stuff all gets out this year and nothing gets left. All right. So that, because it's becoming fall time and we, uh, yeah, we definitely need that. 
I mean, the fishing people, they're, they're bringing food in, but these guys are bringing way more food in for us right now. So water, solid. We got water figured out. Food, not so much. Still working on that. August has arrived. Okay, we're getting towards crops harvesting time. Yes, yes. Get those crops out. Oh my gosh, look at our food. Look at this whole thing is filling up with food right now. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is exactly what we needed. Okay, so these fields are empty. And these fields are not. So we need to get... We need to get as many people... In this field as possible. Because that's a lot of pumpkins left over still. Tailors in the town are sort of a left for scraps from old clothes that can no longer be worn in the store, although they cannot be made into decent clothes. Tailors, uh, making clothes and making a backpack. Oh, making a clothes for sure. Our clothes are uh, relatively low too, so. Look at that. Yes, get all those pumpkins out. We're at almost 5,000 food now. I feel like we... I feel like we hit it. I feel like we did it. We got it. We knocked it out of the park. That's not going to be an issue. Um, I think we should also go ahead and increase the number of people making uh, food. Heck yes. Let's go ahead and get those in there. Let's get our uh, fishing huts back on. And let's turn all these back down. All right. Whew. We did it. We did it. Okay. Fuel reserves are always low, but that's fine. So we've got one extra worker right now. We've got you. Let's see. Four, 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 four. Uh, it looks like we're starting to get wood, which is good. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're finally getting... We have water. We've got food. We're processing the food into veggie salads. Um, how much science do we have? We have two science points left. Okay. So I think, like I said, I think this forest farm is going to be the next thing. The apiary um, requires clay. We can get clay now. I think we're going to go down this line. Maybe. You know what? Maybe not. Maybe we'll wait and see. Oh my gosh. What do we got here? School? Oh, we need a, we need a teacher assigned here. Um, who do we take a teach? Who wants to be a teacher? How about, how about this woodworker becomes a teacher? And then we need to turn this building back on because we're going to need, um, we're going to need this cut stone eventually anyways, but I only want like, uh, 50. We also have nobody gathering either, but I feel like they gather is kind of like old news now. I don't know. We'll have to see, but that is going to end it. We did it. Oh my gosh. We even built a bridge. <laughs> we even built a bridge. Actually, that is huge. Um, we're going to queue it right now because I just don't even want to forget about this. Uh, wow, I can't quite get out there, but that's fine. We'll put one there. We'll put one there. And then uh, we need to make a road for sure. We're gonna make a road straight off of that over here to there there to there fantastic oh this is exciting we're expanding out to the other side so um yep yeah, that's gonna end it thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe all the fun things we survived so far um looks like we survived the winter i was i thought we were gonna lose it all um this place has 178 um domestic fuels so we should be okay i mean it says fuel reserves are low but that's because a lot of it's in here uh we need more people which is actually kind of crazy we need more houses so i think what we're gonna probably end up doing here is now that we got this area we've got this area kind of figured out um i'm thinking that maybe we'll go ahead and go across uh this side and start putting up some houses markets things like that over here so that way we can get more more people over there um i'm actually thinking about throwing some houses down in here as well so that way the people that are working down in here don't have to run up as far the only problem with that is that they would be in charge of their own actually if we threw one in there if i threw a house like right in there uh, they'd be in charge of their own heat that's not a terrible thing because like i said if they were if they were closer to the jobs that might be better but i don't know we'll have to see uh thank you so much for coming out
Have a wonderful rest of your day. If you guys are interested in settlement survival, link down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.